gang, FLXP Reviews, back again with another Homebrew Buddies. Is that what we named the playlist? I think so. All Sounds right. about right. It's been a Whatever. while, but yeah. it's a friggin' homebrew. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this homebrew comes, uh, I'm Dan, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, this homebrew comes courtesy of our buddy Tanner over at East Coast LQ Reviews. Oh, all right. And he's, uh, he's dipped his toe into the homebrewing gang. All right. Uh, game. Um, and, uh, yeah. So he sent us off package with a few of them. We'll check it out. So this is an IPA. This is, more importantly, a Dead Ringer IPA. Appar is that right? Apparently, I'm pretty sure it's all Centennial hops. Okay. Uh, 6.2 AB. Oh, 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 buddy. She's primed. She's oxidized. <laughs> it's supposed to be an American IPA. Um, oh, jeez. Okay. We'll get, we'll get that later. It's our first time. Shit. You know how it is, first time. Doesn't last long. It's the most amazing part. First time, long time. It's whoa, whoa. super dark. <laughs> this, uh, to be honest, <laughs> I mean, it, it looks like a dogfish had 120. Yeah, it really does. aged or whatever. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? It's a, a very dark, uh, brownish, kind of red, really tan, really thick. Like me head on it. A lot darker than maybe like a celebration or something. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. That's gonna whiff. We'll try. Ooh. That's centennial. That that is some bitter grassy citrus. Oh, there's uh, a there's a little fruity like bubblegum character. I'm assuming that's Man, the, the yeast. Like, yeah, I was gonna say I'm getting a little yeasty. You getting that bubblegummy thing? No. Like it's it's kinda maybe not bubble straight bubblegum, it's a little fruity. There is a little fruit in there. There's Maybe like a, that's what I'm, yeah. There's like a, a, I hate to say nondescript red berry. Maybe like a cherry or raspberry or something. Right. But yeah, very grassy it kind of. Great. It smells good. <laughs> Should we find out? It sort of smells like celebration a little bit. Little Tanner, cheers, buddy. Super carbonated right off the rip. It is very carbonated. Um, oh, bitter, bitter, grassy. Right my first sip, I was like, mm -hmm. oh. first, first beer of the day. Mm. So, um, oh, she's bitter. Yeah, uh, really dry and bitter on the on the front end. It's old school. It's it very old school. It is sapping all the saliva uh, from my tongue. But as it like settles in in the back, then some of those fruit notes. Are like clawing <laughs> to reach their way out. So, like it's some of the fruit notes. It's almost like there's a like a, like a a deep plum or something. Yeah, ab absolutely. Maybe uh, uh, just a touch. Like there's citrus, but it's like a touch. It's masked by like that plum and cherry kind of deep stone fruit kind of. I get the uh, the um, dark red Concord grapes. Oh, yeah. yeah. The skin is on there, like the bitters drying of the skin. Sweet, bready. Um, Very bready. Brown bready. Yeah, I mean, this is, so that, this almost comes off like a cross between, like, if you took Celebration, married it with, like, just a little pour of, like, Bigfoot, <laughs> and then measured off some dogfish head. Yeah, into it. the 120 is definitely in there. Yeah. Um, I think I'd like a little more balance out of it. I think it's just so insanely dry and bitter, where some, some of those fruit notes, if they were just amped up yeah. a little more, it would break it up. But, but I'll tell you I'll what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you is said bad. this is an IPA. Mm -hmm. This is OG. Yeah. OG you, IPA. I think it's a... I think it's a... It's, it's yeah, not it's, bad. It's, it's not it's, bad. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I'm not upset at this beer. <laughs> yeah. This is good. Um, it's not in New England. No. He means a little bit of that. Uh, how, how are you rating this? I mean, on the scale of not being another half? Um, Jesus. It is carved. A mm -hmm. It might be a little over-carved. That, that would be mine. Mm, yeah. Uh, but that's okay. Um, I don't know. On the... Do we rate the homebrews? I don't even remember what we did. I'm going to give it like... I'll give it three and a half Beermans. Oh, okay. 
We'll use the Beerman scale. I like that. I wish we had some pop-up little beer man heads on the screen. <laughs> for I mean, I could try. <laughs> I could try. I don't Pretty know if funny. I can. <laughs> Maybe I'll try. Three and a half Beermans and one Tanner. <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Okay, so I'll, I'll give it... I'm enjoying it. I'll get three and a quarter Beermans. All right. With another quarter of a Tanner. All right. I like it. That's a good right. score. It is. You look it up. It's good. All right. Man, I'm really going to try and... I don't know if I can do that with a... Our editing software is... <laughs> it's not that advanced. No, it's, it's restricted. It's like the light version of uh, Adobe Premiere. It's one step above freemium. <laughs> it is. It is. Okay. It's like there's Adobe Premiere, which I have to sell my child to uh, afford. <laughs> right. And then there's the free bullshit you deal with. And then there's the Adobe Premiere Rush that we use. That is like, you know, I could stand on the corner and get a dollar and I could pay for it for a month. Oh, okay. So, right. yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I'd probably bump up the score if there was a bottled on date, but obviously you yeah. don't care about that sort of thing. Could have put an ABV um, on there, too. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Or any kind of label. Right. Really. We gotta go. But, this is um, the all <laughs> just a working kind of thing. All right. No, thanks, buddy. I'm glad we got to try this. All right. Let's see us.